Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing a video on a bookstore haul, mostly Half Price Bookstore and the Folk Bookstore at my local library, which I love that bookstore. Sometimes you find really good finds for $3 and under. I have some pretty brand new books too a lot of times, so if you want to see a little book haul, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first three books that I'm going to kind of talk about and one is this publisher it's Arcturus. It's got like a polar bear picture. They have been releasing so many classics recently with uh, similar style covers. And every time I see them at a half price bookstore, I'm just like, let me get a few of these because they're like $4.99 to like $5.99, sometimes $3.99, I think. They're just such a good price and they, I just love how they all look the same. So first I I got Peter Pan, which I have never read this. I've seen the Disney adaptation of it, but I have never read it. And it's Peter Pan, and it also has Peter Pan in Kensington Gardens, which never heard of that, don't know what that is, but I think it's another little short story in there. Next, I got The Secret Garden. I've also never read this, but I have seen the movie. It was one of me and my friend's favorite movies when we were little kids. So I, I don't know when I'm gonna read it, but I would like to read it one day. And the next similar, is a little princess i've seen the movie many times growing up but i have never read the book so one day i will be able to read it they all just have a similar style cover and i just really love it so yeah i'm going to add that to my collection and don't know when i'm going to get to them but some point in my life i would like to read some classics next up i have jonathan strange and mr norell by Susanna clark I can't remember what book of hers that I see everywhere. I don't know if it's this one, but this is her first book, I believe. And I read like the first sentence and I just saw magicians and like 19th century England. And I was like, that seems kind of interesting to me. But I think that they're actual like magic, not magicians like the ones we have nowadays where it's like all tricks of the eye. But I think there's like real magic in this world. Yeah, I was just thinking fall and this seemed fallish to me. Anything back in the day in England, very fall to me. Next up, I picked up The Black Phone by Joe Hill. And okay, this is stories. I don't know, is the movie based on short stories or one story i'm not totally sure i just keep seeing the promotion for the movie everywhere and i'm gonna have to research like which story in here is based off that movie or if they all i don't know know nothing about it except for i keep seeing this creepy man's face oh okay the black phone is one of 15 stories in here so i will be reading this at some point i guess i could read the black phone really quickly since it's just a short story you don't know probably do if you're watching this joe hill is stephen king's son and i always wonder like why doesn't he have his dad's name did he not want his hill i don't i did he not want to just ride off his dad's coattails which i feel like still happens i mean it's his dad how do you not also they write books together but also like if stephen king was my dad i will be like maybe hill is stephen king's real last name i have no clue if stephen king is his real name but if that was my dad king would be plastered all over my books <laughs> like why not but anyways yeah this looks good i might read that in october or sometimes this month just because it is like spooky season and i think this is a horror joe hill usually writes horrors i believe so next up i got this actually from my local library's folk bookstore and this is called murder on the boulevard a houston heights mystery and my dad actually saw it and he was like oh do you want this and I was like, yes, I do want this. So Houston Heights is a neighborhood in Houston. I think it's the oldest neighborhood in Houston and it's the highest point of Houston. So they like settled there like a hundred something years ago because it would flood, least, it would be the least likely place to flood. And it's gorgeous. The homes are so beautiful, like craftsman style and the streets are lined with beautiful, huge live oak trees, just gorgeous. And yeah, so I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, there are a mystery set in the Heights. That's so exciting. I want to read that. And I just thought it was kind of cool. A lot of books usually aren't set in Houston. I'm pretty sure the author of this is from Houston and stuff like that, but 
that is totally totally okay i am excited to read this oh i did not know that it's also signed by the author so that's really cool too awesome i'm excited to read this maybe in october or something because it's like a mystery so next i have no sleep till wonderland by paul tremblay and i have no clue what this is about no clue at all. I just saw Paul Tremblay and I was like, I'll get it. Cause this was also at my little library bookstore and it was like 50 cents, I think so. And next up I got this, which I don't know if I'm ever gonna read it. I just thought it was kind of funny. This is 50 Shades of Earl Grey. It's a parody of 50 Shades of Grey, which I think is so funny cause it was in the little library bookstore, but they had it in the memoir section. And I thought that was so funny because it's clearly not a memoir, it's a parody. But next up, I got the bookshop on the corner. Uh, this was, let's see. This is about a woman who works in a bookshop and she loves pairing the reader with their perfect book. Oh no, she was a librarian. Hmm, but the library that she worked at got closed. I don't really know what this is about very much. It sounds like kind of like women's literary fiction type book. It, but it, the, the cover just evoked like cozy vibes. So I was kind of intrigued by the cover. Not gonna lie. I definitely do a lot of cover buys. Like this one, Love in the Time of Serial Killers. I think I got this on Amazon, not totally sure. Um, let's see. This is a romance novel and it's about a woman whose neighbor, new neighbor, she thinks he's a serial killer and Clearly he's not, but at first she thinks he's a serial killer. So, so I just love the cover. Look at that. Is that not like the cutest cover you've ever seen? I feel like if I, I if I do like a reading vlog with it, the cover is going to be. So yeah, this looks cute. Don't know when I'll get to it, but maybe sometime soon, maybe not. I can only read about eight books a month. I'm trying to read a little bit more, but reading is not my entire life. So next up, I got The Exorcist and I got this because I want to read it next month in the time of Halloween. <laughs> I think this was $15 and I saw this in like a three book set sold as like decor at home goods. I didn't get it cause it was $25 and I did not want the other two books, but I loved this edition of it. It was so cool looking to me. And then I went to half price bookstore and I saw the same edition and it was $15 and I looked it up. I think, I think it's a first edition or like, or it might not be first edition, but I believe that it came out the year so it could be like second or third, but it came out in 1971. This book was printed. Um, so this book was printed in the year that this book was published. Also, I don't like any of the other covers. I'm terrified to read this. Also, I will never, 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 never be watching the movie. I was traumatized at a young age by Reagan's face many times. I grew up in the time of where scary faces popped up on videos like e-bombs world and stuff and never again traumatized to this day 31 years old don't want to look at her face but i will read the book okay so that is it for today i do have other books that i'm gonna haul but i'm gonna be making just a few videos out of this because i don't personally like watching book hauls that are way 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 long because it's just kind of like okay we get it you you bought a bunch of books, so I'm going to wrap it up for now and I'm going to continue, but it'll be in another video coming out when, I don't know, I might not even haul all the books that I got because honestly, there's still like 30 on the ground and I don't know if they all need to be announced that I bought them. <laughs> so I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!